What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a solid team to showcase for you guys today. Today, we are rocking out with yet another Zacian and Yvelta team, but this time it features one of my favorite Pokemons in Sword and Shield. That is going to be Dragon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Genes community. It really goes a long way. Just want to give a huge shout out to everybody. Considering we just hit 12k subscribers, that's a huge milestone. Again, thank you guys for all the support. But let's get started here. Starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Dragon Bolt. Like I said, one of my favorite Pokemons for Sword and Shield ranked battles. Just tons of fun, and it's a really cool design. I really like it. We got Clear Body, we got the Focus Ash, and then we got Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, both for our stab move, Will O Wisp for Burns, and Max Guard when we Dynamax. And then last but not least, we got Fly for our coverage and a speed boost for when we Dynamax. But I really do like Dragon Bolt. I think Dragon Bolt is still very, very strong, but it has been getting a uh, decrease in usage. Ever since Series 12, that's because of Yvelta. Yvelta really counters it up. So having the Focus Sash on this Pokemon can allow him to be in the battle a little bit longer. So we can use him for Series 12. So hopefully we get to showcase him. Hopefully we can get him back to his former self and, you know, get some big damage off and just control the battle with him. Right next to him is going to be our second Mon. This is going to be our first Restricted Mon. And that is going to be Zassian over here. Interpret Sword and Rusted Sword as his item and ability. And then we're rocking with the moveset of Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Substitute, and Protect. A little bit different from his normal moveset, but if we can set up Substitute, it's pretty much GG's. Zacian is a beast once Substitute gets set up. That means he's just soaking up shots and dealing big damage at the same time. Middle left is going to be our second Restricted Mon, and this is going to be my favorite Series 12 Restricted Mon out there. It's going to be Yvelto with a Dark Aurora, Assault Vest, and then this lovely moveset over here. We got Foul Play for Physical Attackers, Oblivion Wing for Stab and HP Recovery, Snarl for Special Attack Drop, and last but not least, we got that lovely Sucker Punch for First Turn Priority. Really, really good up against Dragapults, and really good up against Shadow Rider Calyrexes. Middle right is going to be Incineroar, and this Incineroar is just a tad bit different from most Incineroars. It's obviously got the Intimidate ability with a Citrus Berry item, but its moveset is a tiny bit different due to it having Taunt on it. Most Incineroars are not Rocket Taunt, so this one can definitely throw off our opponents and we can get Rocking out with this Incineroar. We got Flare Blitz, Fake Out, and Parting Shot for the other three moves. Bottom left-hand corner is Rillaboom over here. Rillaboom is still very, very solid in Series 12. I absolutely love this Pokemon. Really good for first-hand priority and countering up on Kai Ogres. We got Grassy Surge alongside with the Miracle Seed as its item and ability. Then we got Grassy Guide, U-Turn to Pivot Out, Protect, and Fake Out for its moveset. Final Pokemon on the squad is lovely Storm Drink Ashton. Storm Drink Ashton is solid by itself with just his ability of storm Drain. it's just so good it poses such a huge threat up against kyogre teams so it's really good just to have on a team and not even use it we got leftovers as item and then we're rocking ice beam earth power protect and yawn for this pokemon's moveset guys if you want to try this team for yourself i don't even have to say it anymore the code is chilling right at the bottom of the screen let's get after it let's hop on that ranked double ladder look to get some wins with the zassian yvelta and dragapult series 12 team Let's get rolling here in battle number one, going up against a kind of similar team, but yet kind of different. He has three of the same Pokemon as me with Zacian, Incineroar, and Gastron, and then his other three are going to be Groudon, Charizard Combo, and Grimmsnarl for his support Pokemon. Okay, how should we play this? How should we go into this? I'm kind of feeling Dragapult here. Dragapult looks really, really good here, so you know what? I'm going to lead Dragapult and get rocking out from there. So Dragapult's going to get the lead. We might want to lead Incineroar as well, or Rillaboom. They could both be solid here. He does have a few physical attackers. Fake Out could be good on either or. Who's who's faster though? I think Rillaboom's faster, so he might want to lead Rillaboom. But Rillaboom's kind of scary though. If we go on the Rillaboom, he could just go into his Charizard combo and kind of rip through us. So that is kind of scary. So we could go Yveltal. Yveltal is not bad, especially with all of his uh, special attackers. I'm kind of with it. I'm actually kind of leaning more towards Incineroar here. We could partner shot out. We could Fake Out. We could do stuff from there. And then just have Yveltal and Zacian in the back end. I'm digging it. Definitely digging it. But guys, before we actually hop into our first battle, let me know for question of the day. What type of cake is your favorite? And the reason I ask this question of the day is it because it is your boy's birthday. It is my birthday. I'm now 23 years old, years old, if any of you guys were actually wondering. And actually, I couldn't decide on what type of cake I wanted today. So I'm going to be asking you guys for question of the day. But by the time this video goes live, my birthday is actually the 29th. This will go out on the 30th. But still, if you guys want to wish me a happy birthday, just leave it in the comment section down below. I'll make sure to actually respond to you guys. But yeah, I know a lot of people were actually wondering my age. So I figured I'd say it up. 23 dude getting old i'm an old head you guys are gonna start seeing me and like walking up to the uh, youtube recording studio here on camera with a cane it's gonna be hilarious but only if i had a birthday hat because you guys know i like to wear hats during recording i would have loved to wear a birthday hat today would have been hilarious would have been hilarious but let's try to get some birthday wins today let's see he's gonna go charizard zassian i'm cool with that i'm cool with that we do have to intimidate on the zassian i could parting shot onto the charizard and i could dynamax the dragon Ball, which could be lovely it could definitely be lovely hmm I just fake out the Zacian. Ooh. Do I fake out the Zacian? And just go after Charizard. Maybe try to take a speed boost. Could be good. 
could be good. Could indeed be good. Because we know Dragapult definitely outspeeds everybody here, right? Dragapult's super fast. Like, what's his speed at? Two something? Come here, Dragapult. Let me see your speed. Let me show the boys your speed. Dragapult's chilling here with, yeah, 213. Ah, dang. You know, this thing's cooking. This thing's cooking. So, uh, yeah, I kind of want to Dynamax. I could go for Phantasm. I could go for Wormwood. Not too bad here. Just for atta that attack drop, I'm with it all day. And I could go in the Flare Blitz. I could Parting Shot. I'm just going to fake out here. Actually, I believe the... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to predict the Protect. I'm going to predict the Protect on this Zassi. And I'm just going to Parting Shot onto the Charge Art slot. He just withdraws. That's totally fine. So good thing we didn't fake out. We're Parting Shotting. And we are going to drop that thing's attack with this one. Which is wonderful. Which is just wonderful. So he's going to bring out the, you know, the Drought. Which is totally fine. Hopefully he's not... He might be able to take out my Dragapult here. He might be able to take out my Dragapult here. If he goes into a G-Max Wildfire... That's going to do big damage. I know we have the Focus Ash, but then the Wildfire damage is just going to chip around us. That's tough news. That is definitely tough news, but at least we'll go minus one onto that Groudon, which could be really, really good for us. And we can get off some big damage onto this uh, Charger. We'll see. We'll see what he does. I think he's going to Dynamax, right? I'm kind of hoping he does. I'm actually really hoping he does, but he definitely is, right? Yeah. So he's going to G-Max the Charizard. We're going to get off some big damage, but I do believe the Charizard is going to take us out. But then we get off a nice little parting shot, and I can hard swap back in. We're going to get that attack drop onto the Groudon. I'm liking that a lot. I am liking that a lot. Now we can bring out a Zacian over here. Zacian can do some work. can get some work done. He can get some work done. And we do have Yveltal as well. Pretty good. Pretty good. Wormwind's gonna fly here. Yeah, uh, he send it this way. How much damage are we doing? That's some solid. That's some lovely damage. Lovely damage. Attack drop's gonna be huge. We got a crit. Ooh, baby. The birthday luck's on my side. I'll take it all day. We'll take it all day. Nice little attack drop here. And then uh, this Charizard's going to go for an Airstream. I was going to Airstream instead. I'm cool with that. He's going to Airstream. And do we outspeed him now? I'm actually curious about this. Do we still outspeed that Charizard? Let me cutting it close. I definitely want to bring out Yveltal here. He's going to lose some HP, and he's got to be solar powered, right? So Sucker Punch might be able to take that out, which could be lovely. It could be huge for us. Which could be huge for us. So we drop its attack and special attack. We party shot out, and I'm just going to throw in Yveltal here. I'll save my Zacian. Because if that thing is actually a, uh, if that thing is solar powered, which I had to guess it is, Sucker Punch should be able to take this thing out, right? Would be beautiful. Would be beautiful. Yes, solar power coming out here. Sucker Punch should be able to take that out, right? Sucker Punch should be able to take that out. And then from here, we could just go for another one. one. Could be great. Uh, he might actually swap into Zacian, so maybe we'll want to just go for one of these. With that all day. We'll just go for one of them, and we'll just Sucker Punch. Where should I airstream? Try to get some speed for my boys. I'm kind of leaning towards a bit more speed here. Yeah, I'm leaning towards a bit more speed here. So we're going to go here, and then I'm just going to sucker punch you. That's my plan all day. That is my plan all day. Let's see what he does from here. He's going to withdraw Groudon. Yep. Just in case he withdraws in his ass, right? Now he goes into Incineroar. So good call. Actually, I guess that's an okay call by him. I mean, we're clear bodied. Intimidate's not going to affect my, uh, my, uh, Develto. We're special attack. Actually, sucker punch is physical, isn't it? And he guards the charge on. I'm cool with that. So now we can actually fake out. But we take speed advantage here. Which is beautiful. So we get speed here. If he wants to fake out my Yvelta, I'm just going to go into Charizard with this, uh... With this Dragapult, because we now out speed. And we can just roll out from there. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day, baby. I'm not playing around here. Solar Power is going to chip up some more damage. That's, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. And now he's just going to fake me out. And then from here, you know, I'm just going to do this. Actually, I'm, I might get a defense drop. I might get a defense drop here. Where do I take more speed? Just take more speed. Can't go wrong with more speed. Cannot go wrong with more speed. So we'll do that, and then we'll just, uh... We'll just Oblivion Wing onto this instant war. I'm with it all day. He has no first turn priority. He's probably gonna fake out my, uh... My Yveltal. No, he doesn't. That's fine. That's fine. So we get rid of the Charizard. We're rolling. We're rolling strong here. He has the, uh, Zassian and Groudon in the back end, but we do have Incineroar, which is just so big. Incineroar is just so good. The counter up on Zassian's and Groudon. It's just really, really good. I get the Groudon has a ground move, but just to intimidate itself is just posing such a huge threat. Just posing that threat. We're dropping a nice little lovely Oblivion Wing. Get some damage off on that thing. Start chipping away. Probably triggered Sperry, right? Is it rocking Citrus Berry? Hopefully not. We hope not. Yeah, it is. Okay, so Citrus Berry's gonna poke here. He's probably gonna take out my uh, my Dragon Pole here, and I'm kinda cool with that. I am kinda cool with that. Let's see, Darkest Slayer comes out here. Yeah. And who do I go into from here? That's the real question. Who do I go into? I'm thinking of just going into uh, Zacian and saving my Incineroar. Who do I think he goes into? That's a real question. So obviously, I could just go right into Incineroar here. 
Obviously, I could do that. Uh, hmm. Did you get off a fake out? I just roll from there. But Zassian's looking real good because Zassian outspeeds. So I'm really liking that. I'm really liking that. I am really liking that. We're going to go into our Zassian here. We're going to save our Intimidate for the back end. Hopefully, he goes into Groudon. I think he would rather him go into Groudon than Zassian at this point. And he does go into Zassian. So dang, dude. That could have been real good for us. Could have been real good for us. Okay. I'm cool with this. I am cool with this. I'm down with this. We're going to get the Interpret Sword boost. I'm going to Sacred Sword into that uh, Incineroar. I'm definitely going to uh, Secret Sword here and try to take him out. And then I'm just going to go for a Foul Play and get off as much damage as I can. Because Foul Play does a decent amount of damage on his ass. Plus we'll outspeed it because we're plus two with Yveltal. I'm liking that. Should do about half. Should do about half. I'm digging it. He could parting shot here too, but I think our Zassian just outspeeds him. Gonna hit him with Sacred Sword and take him out, right? Does sound real good. Does sound really good. Sounds lovely. It sounds lovely. Let's see what he does for me. I think he's gonna wanna swap his uh Incineroar. I think his only way out here is swapping his Incineroar and making a play with fake out late in the game. I feel like that's what he has to do here, and he doesn't. Okay, so Foul Play's going to poke. This should do a decent amount of damage. Look at that. About half. Look at that. Awesome, dude. Does so much damage. That's why Foul Play's so good. He's going to Behemoth Blade on me, and both my Pokemon should be able to soak this up. That's really good for us. And he goes to my Yveltal. Yveltal, say that's tasty stuff. All day. Yveltal soaks that up like crazy. Sacred Sword's going to fly here, and this should take out. It's no problem, right? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful turn for us. Okay. So now we're sitting here. Um. Hmm. I could predict this, uh, the Protect from the Zacian, or I could just go into a straight Foul Play. And I think I'm just going to go Foul Play Behemoth Blade, right? Give me no reason not to. Give me no reason not to. Yeah, Behemoth Blade flying here. I'm just going to Foul Play. Because if he goes into a Protect, and then he goes into a, uh, what is it? A Precipice Blade. It's not going to fuck my Yveltus, so my Yveltus is going to be out here for a little bit. My Yveltus should be thriving here. Getting off some big damage. And then we just have Instant Ore in the back end to kind of clean up the messes. With the Intimidate, which which works so well. Which obviously works so well. But right now, I have speed. I'm kind of just rolling here. There's, I, there's like, no need for me to kind of just go into all this stuff. Like, just start swapping out. Right now, I'm just controlling the battle myself. Like, I have the upper edge. There's no need for me to make a swap and kind of go from there. He does end up protecting his Zacian. That's totally fine. We're going to hit this thing with a big old Behemoth Blade. It's going to be great. Get off some nice damage. And then if he doesn't take on my Yveltal here, it's game over. The Blade Fly. I was going to predict it, too. I was going to predict it, too. We're going to drop this thing, uh, or not drop it, we're going to do some big damage off of it. We're going to bring it down to you. So let's see what he goes into. Is he going for blades? He goes for thunder punch. So he ends up going into that. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. And I'm just going to double down the e here. Actually, do I? What is my play? What is my play here? We have Incineroar. Obviously, we want to fake out on one of them. And Intimidate is going to be huge. Minus one on both of them. That's beautiful. That makes a great play with thunder punch. I'll give it to him all day. We have both these Pokemon low. So Intimidate's going to come out on both physical attackers. And then from here, I'm trying to think. I'm scared of... I'm more scared of the uh, Groudon due to the Blades. But I might just want to double down on both of these. Hmm. I think I'm just going to do this. I don't even think I'm going to fake out here, right? Actually, I am going to fake out. I said we just double down on his Zacian. I said we just get rid of his Zacian, right? I say we just get rid of Zacian. I say we just get rid of this thing. It already protected. it. Groudon might protect, and Blades is not going to kill my uh, my Zacian. Unless he gets a crit. I don't, I don't think Blades is going to kill either of them due to the minus one. So if we double down on Zacian, we can make this a 2v1 situation. We can be thriving good here. Yep, let's double down on Zacian. Fake Out's going to poke. Blades is going to come out next. And we're going to take out Zacian. So Zacian's gone. Beautiful. I actually could have taken out Groudon and just solidified the battle. But I didn't want to get a... Uh, I didn't want to uh, lose the battle due to like a protect. Maybe he would have protected the Groudon or something. So I really didn't want to pose a threat into the Groudon and just like get protected and lose the battle from there. But now he's going to go for Blades. We see this all day and my Pokemon should be able to eat. Right? Soak it up, boys. All day. Yeah. Light work. Light work. Reading you like a book. We know exactly what was going to happen. And there it is. My Zacian outspeeds. We're just going to drop a nice little 100% accuracy uh, Behemoth Blade. And we're just going to take this battle. We're just going to take this battle. And Incineroar can soak up another uh, Blades from there too, which is wonderful. Which is wonderful. So we'll Flare Blitz. We'll Behemoth Blade. There we go. We're getting today's video started. And more importantly, my birthday started 1-0. You gotta love it. What a solid battle. We got Dragapult Dynamax. He did some work. He was thriving out there. Doing everything he could. I love it. I love it.
I love it. He actually taken out the. He did some mean work onto the. The what's it called? Onto that G Max Charizard. But there it is. One and zero. Let's go back to back in battle number two. Battle number two might be a little struggle for us. We're going up against a slow start Reggie Gagas team, and I'm always scared to go up against them because it's just so strong. It's just so strong. He also has the Weezing, obviously, for the neutralizing gas, the Kyogre Zassian combo, and then the Urshifu and Landris for the back end Pokemon. Okay, how should we go into this one? How should we play it? He might want to lead that Reggie Gagas. I'm going to lead Zassian for this. I'm going to lead Zassian. Zassian is just super, super strong. Great all around. I could actually lead Pult here and play him for a support role with some burns. There's a lot of physical attackers. I'm with it all day. I'm going to go in with Dragapult. Dragapult, Zacian. We're definitely going to bring uh, Rillaboom here. Just to counter up onto that uh, Kyogre. And then last but not least, do we go Yvelta or Incineroar? I'm kind of leaning more towards Yvelta here. Yvelta's nice. Has that Foul Play. Has that Sucker Punch. It can do so much. It can just do so much. I absolutely love this Yvelta set. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to get ourselves back to back. Victories in battle number two. Let's see who he's going to lead. If he leads Regigigas, I'm fine with that. I could throw a Burn on it. I could uh, Behemoth Blade, double damage. I can go for Sick Sword. Because, you know, if he's going to lead it, we're definitely, he's definitely going to Dynamax it. But we'll just see what he does. He could lead the Lando. I don't really mind if he leads it. Like, I just want to throw out some burns. Regigigas and Kyogre. Ooh. Ooh. Regigigas and Kyogre. Okay. Okay. Kind of cool. Might swap a neutralize against. I am going to burn... This Regigigas. I'm gonna throw a burn on the Regigigas and then I'm gonna Behemoth Blade just into that uh Is that a Kyogre slot? Or just hit him with the Sacred Sword. One or the other. I could set up a sub. Predict the swap. That could be good. But is he really gonna swap? Hmm. Is he really I'm gonna I'm gonna sub up. You know what? No, we're not gonna sub up. I'm just going to Sacred Sword into Kyogre. And I'm going to throw a burn over onto Regigigas. I'm looking at. He withdraws. Wow, he withdraws Reggie. Is he, oh, he goes into Zassy. That's good. That's good. Can we burn this thing? Land this burn. Land this burn. Is he going to Dynamax that Kyogre? I don't think he is, but can we land this burn? It's going to be such a huge thing for us. He outs. This thing's Choice Scarf. He's Choice Scarf. My boys eat, but that thing's Choice Scarf. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. That, that thing's choice scarf. Will of us connects amazing onto his ass. It's a huge turn for us. Wow, dude. This thing's cooking. This thing is cooking. This thing is cooking. Sacred Sword's gonna fire. How much damage are we gonna do? That's some solid damage. That's gonna neglect a lot of the water spell damage. That's huge for us. That's great for us. Okay, so from here, Behemoth Blade, we're gonna try to get off this. And then uh, I could go for a Phantom Force. Wouldn't be bad. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to get off a Phantom Force, but Water Spell might still pick up the double KO, right? He's choice. That's scary. Someone eat this up, please. Let's go, Dragapult. I love you, Dragapult. So Dragapult's able to eat up. That's a big turn for us. That's a big, big turn for us. I'll take that turn all day. And of course, this thing outspeeds me. What? Yo, this Zacian outspeeds me? This thing's cooking. We're 212. That's nuts. That's nuts, but I'm fine with that. He has a Regigigas in the back end. Uh, we do have a burn on the Zacian. Ow. Wow, that's rough news. That's real rough news for us. We're going to bring out our Rillaboom here. And our Yvelta. Rillaboom and Yvelta is going to come out here. Uh, what should we do here? What should we do? I'm trying to think what we should do here. I definitely want to Dynamax one of them, but I might not Dynamax just yet. I think I'm just going to Grassy Glide into Kyogre, but I think he's going to hard swap him, right? Good foul play. I kind of just want to go here, foul play. Maybe just pose that threat. Yeah, we might as well pose the threat. I'm not too worried about Zassian with the burn. Grass guy's going to fly. Okay, cool. Take out the Kyogre, and then we'll Dynamax next turn. How much damage is he really going to do? How much damage is he really going to do while he's burning? Unless he gets a crit, you know? Just for Behemoth Blade. Who's he hitting? Who's he hitting up on? Who are you hitting up on? My Yvelle. How much Are you soaking that all day? Yeah. Beautiful soak. Soak that up. Uh, I think we're gonna Dynamax my roll. And we get off some huge damage. That's a cool. Love it. I love it. I love that damage there. I love that damage. Burn's chipping away, and Burn is helping us out. Okay, so I think we Dynamax our. It's gonna bring out Regigigas to Dynamax, right? That's awful. 
That is awful. <laughs> we do not like that. Reggie, I guess, is definitely coming out here. Yep, there's Reggie. Um, we have to get after him. Dude, he's so bulky, though. Pokemon's a beast. Pokemon is a beast. And we're just going to go into... Could have Blooming Wing. Could go for... I'm going to go for a Fat Play. And I got a Dynamax to go for the Jump Soul, right? We gotta go for a Jump Soul. We gotta get off as much damage as we can. We do have the Grassy Terrain out here, so it is gonna get boosted as well. But he just withdraws Acid, so good turn for us to actually double down into the slot. He's gonna bring out Weezing. Um, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I think my boys should be able to outspeed, especially just Alicia Velton. Alicia Velton should be able to outspeed. We're going Dynamax for Dynamax. Dude! And I don't know if we're gonna win this one. This one's tough. This one's looking tough. But he made great plays there. I just, uh, in the beginning, if I would have known, like, the speeds, it definitely could have been better for us. Definitely could have been better for us. A lot better for us. But I really did think Dragon Pulp was outspeeding Zazie. I can't believe it doesn't. I can't. That's how broken Zazie is. It outspeeds a Dragon Pulp. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy that it outspeeds a Dragon Pulp? That's nuts. But he brings out Weezing. And Weezing's kind of scaring me because I think Weezing does rock with us. And if it burns my Robum, it's pretty much over from there, right? It's like, ah, oh, come on. It's over with. <laughs> it's GG's. If he's going to burn me. We G-Max our Robum. Let's see how this one plays out. Yvelta might be out, out or faster, and it's not. We're going to go for the Max Strike onto who? Onto Yvelta. Can you soak that up, Yvelta? No, he does not. Rough. Rough news for us. He burns me, it's over. He burns me, it's over. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, dude. Don't burn me. I swear. Don't burn me. We outspeed. Even with the Max Strike, wow, that's great. How much damage are we really going to do on this one? I'm more than I thought. That's a nice chunk of damage there. A good chunk of damage. And I forgot he swapped in the Weezy. So, okay. All right, what do we do from here? Obviously, got to go into this. Just take out the Reggie Vegas. We got to go after the Reggie Vegas. We have a burn on that, uh, on that, what's it called? On that Zassy. So, be a shot here. Oh, my lord. Never mind. It is over with. That does so much damage. He gets, oh, he got a crit. Come on, man. What you mean? Getting a crit. Weezing, I think Weezing's going for will -Lewis, right? Yeah, there it is. I knew he had it. I knew he was ripping with it. I knew he was ripping with it. Maybe we can still take out this uh this Regigigas just so we could say we, we, we KO'd two of his Pokemon. <laughs> but we'll see. Take him out. Dang it, dude. We don't even get to take out the Regigigas. But there it is, yo. GG. Battle number two. Not in our favor. We're sitting at one and one. And you guys know the deal. The third and final battle, we got to get ourselves a win. Have to get ourselves a winning record because it is your boys. So once I'm able to run this battle, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So one and one. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and let's grab ourselves a winning record for today. Sitting at two and one, so we gotta grab ourselves a win here. You know what? I'm gonna promise you guys a win here. I'm promising you guys a victory here in battle number three. We're going up against a Zassian and Dialga team with Charizard, Amoongus, Tapu Fini, and Thunders. Okay, how should we go into this one? How should we play? I'm thinking. I'm leaning towards Dragapult as lead. I really just like Dragapult all around. It's just good. Actually, Yvelt is not a bad lead here either. This is the fine Pokemon with the uh, Thunder, so I really do not want to lead the Incineroar. It's kind of scaring me a little bit. So I'm leaning more towards Dragapult and Yvelta as a lead. Maybe Zacian could fly in here too. Zacian's not too bad. Zacian is not too bad. But um, I'm thinking I want to lead you. Hmm. Is that what I want to do? I definitely want... Actually, we're going to lead Rillaboom. Rillaboom's not a bad lead here. So you know what? I am going to lead Rillaboom. We can U-turn out if we have to. He does have the Tapu Fini. That's fine by me. And then I want to lead the... Uh, I want to lead the Yvelta. He has a lot of special attackers, so you know what? We're going to lead Yveltal here and go from there. Yveltal, and then we're going to bring Zassian in. Yeah, I'm digging it all day. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look, grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. But I wonder who he's going to lead. He just has so many different options. He has so many different options. I kind of wanted to lead the... Uh, I kind of wanted to lead the Dragapult, but I just had a... I have an odd feeling that Tapu Finish is going to come out here. I don't know why. I just have the odd feeling that Tapu Finish is flying out here. Let's see who he's, who he's ripping with. He's going to throw out... Dun, 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 bum, bum, bum. No, these two little boogers. And I'm cool with that. I have I have Snarl on my uh I have Snarl ready to rock on my uh on my Yveltal. I can protect my my Rillaboom. I can swap my Rillaboom. I can do a good bit here. I can do a good bit here. I'm thinking of just swapping my my lovely little Rillaboom. Into my to who actually? That's a good question. The Dragapult? Dragapult goes down though, if that happens. I could protect. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect, and you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go right into a snarl here. I'm gonna protect, and I'm gonna go into a snarl. I can definitely see a Dynamax happening. I'm going into wildfires, just send them that way. And if we lose roll boom, we lose roll boom. That's fine, as long as we can waste out like two turns. Let's see. Hopefully, he's going for that rage powder. I would love for him to go for that rage powder. 
instead of the Spore, because Spore could do his dirty. Spore could definitely do his real dirty. So he's going to G-Max here. We're going to try to get that minus one with the Snarl. That could be a good turn for us. I don't think we outspeed it. He's going to be able to get off one shot before he gets minus one. That's good for us. And it's going to be a Wildfire. Wildfire just does so much damage. Let's see what he goes for. Go for Rage Powders. Go for Rage Powders. That's what we want. We want Rage Powders. I don't mind Rage Powders. You going for Rage Powders? No. He's, he's looking for a Spore. He is looking for a Spore. He's going to put my Yabelto to sleep, which is real tough. Real tough. Not cool at all. Not cool at all. Here comes a Wildfire. Go after Roman, right? No, he goes after Yabelto. I'm cool with that. Yabelto soaks that up. It's good to know that uh, Yabelto did outspeed. Maybe he's trying to... What's he going to do here? He's Sporn. Yeah, so he's going to put him to sleep. Um, okay. Kind of cool with that. Kind of cool with that. Uh, how should I go into this? What should I do here? I have my Soul Fest, so we're, we're soaking up shots. Uh, what should Gene see? What should I do here? I'd love to get a U-turn pivot out here. Be big for us. Would definitely be big for us. Would definitely be big for us. Could U-turn. Because I don't... I really don't want a hard swap. Because then I can lose valuable Pokemon like these two. These two are very valuable to me. So yeah, I think Roboom just has to go out here. And do we go for a Grass Guy before anything? Or do we try to go for the U-turn? I think we just go for the Grass Guy. Get off as much damage as we possibly can by going into that. And then if we can, we'll go into an Oblivion Wing over on the other side. Try to get some HP back. Let's see what he does. Grass Guy comes through here. Might as well get off damage. We know we're dead. We know we're dead for a fact. He's going to go for the Airstream and takes out. Right? Or is he going for Wildfire? I'm hoping Wildfire. Yep, there's Airstream. Airstream comes through here, and he goes after Roboom. So yeah, Roboom's dead. It's all that coming all day. So he's going to take a little bit of speed here. I'm going to need my boy to wake up as soon as he can. And what's he going to go for? Maybe a Pollen Puff? Could happen. Could definitely happen. Let's see what he does. I'm going to go for another Spore. Another Spore Spore. And I might just Dynamax Dragapult here. It's going to have to be my play. Yeah, we're going to bring out uh, Dragapult. We're going to Dynamax him. We're going to start taking speed on him. Lovely little speed on our own. Cool. I'm with it all day. I hope my boy can actually wake up. I would love to hit this. I would love to get some Oblivion with damage off. Get some HP back and just thrive from there. But yeah, we're going to Dynamax. We got to go into the airstream. We got to start taking a little bit of speed here. And then just go straight into this Oblivion. I'm with it all day. We're doubling down into this Oblivion. Because this is Charger's last Dynamax turn. He's going to be minus one. I'm not really going to be too worried about it after that. Then we just have solid Pokemon in the back end to kind of clean this one up. We'll see. We shall see. But I want this victory here. Man. I want this victory. I want this victory. Yeah, it's tough that we led the roll. Man. It was definitely tough because it was just like, I'm not going to hard swap into my Dragapult or my uh, or my Zassi and have that Pokemon take a huge hit. Like, I'd rather roll boom just drop out there and die. And we can have full HP with a Dragapult and our Zassi. Because they're, they're going to be your two heavy hitters for this they're going to be our two Pokemon that if we're going to win the battle, those guys are going to be the reason. So, I needed them as much as possible. I need them at full HP. I need them at their fullest potential. So, we're going to Dynamax the Dragon Pole here. Let's see how this one plays out. Look at his little feet, yo. <laughs> his little dragon feet. His little baby feet and baby hands. <laughs> I love it. He's going to go for the... Uh, ooh, ooh. I hate this game. I don't like it one bit. Protects. Airstream's flying. Okay, so Airstream's going to fly. It's going to do like nothing. That's tough news. That's real tough news. And who are you going to take out? Please go after my Dragon Bolt. I want my Yabelto to wake up here. I want my Yabelto to wake up. What the slumped. Rough. Go after Dragon Bolt. Go for an Airstream. Go on the Dragon Bolt. Actually, my Yabelto should be able to eat that up. Sir, okay. That's a huge eat up. That's a huge eat up. That's a huge eat up. We're gonna chip some damage off. Uh, what do I go into from here? Drop that thing's defense. All fire's gonna chip. Bring us down to seven. That's whack. That is whack, dude. <laughs> Bring us down to seven. The amount of damage is insane. With that. Uh, we go for a sucker punch. I think could outspeed me. Actually, we might want to ha or have to go for an airstream here. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for an airstream and I'm gonna go for an oblivion wing. Because I think Dragapult should be able to outspeed a plus two Charizard. A plus one Dragon Ball, I should say. So if we can do that, we can take speed. And then Yabelto can get some HP back and stay in the battle a lot. That could be a really good turn for us. He withdraws a Moongus. Okay. He withdraws a Moongus, and who's he going to go into? He's going to go into Diablo. Oh, that's a little rough for us. That's real rough for us. That guarantees my Yabelto going down. And our Airstream did come out here. That's so rough. Airstream comes out. That's rough, dude. That's real rough. 
or rough. Yvelta's is going to be able to outspeed now, but still. Still, dude. I wanted that Oblivion Wing damage. Yvelta wakes up, and Oblivion Wing's going to poke. So we are going to get a little bit of HP back. Maybe he'll miss his Heat Wave or something, or whatever he's going for. That could be good for us. Not bad damage. Could have definitely been better. So we get a crit. My Dragon Pulse still has a few turns. Or we'll have one turn left in Dynamax, which is lovely. Real lovely. And he's going to go for Scorching Sands. Eat this up, Yvelta. Oh, that went right for... That just went for uh, Dragon Pulse. I love it. I love it. So Yvelta's in here again. Yvelta came to play. He came to play. He's going to be able to eat that up. That's what he was That's what he was hoping for. He was hoping for the G-Max damage to just take him out. We love it. We love it. Okay, so cool. So now I can go into a Wormwind if I want to. I'm lower defense. I think lowering defense stats instead of attacks are really bad for us. So we'll go here and here. I like that. Are we going to see a Protect come out from Charizard? There's a possibility. Phantasm is flying through here. So we're going to drop defense stats on you. Loving it. How much damage are we going to chip? That ain't bad. That is not bad one bit. We have speed up against this thing. So we should be able to take Charizard out here and get some more HP back. That's great for us. That's great for us. It's real good for us. Oblivion Wing flying. Send it, baby. Uh, hey. Send it that way. We're going to take you out, right? Oh, come on, yo. What you mean? We don't take him out. That's whack. What's he going for here? Dragon Pulse coming out here. Can you eat that? You might be able to eat that. You're so fast, dude. Oh, yes, sir. We love you. This thing's going... Oh, he's popping a Tricker. Ooh, Tricker him out. Now I'm going to have to Sucker Punch on the Charizard. Yeah, we're Sucker Punching Charizard, and we're going to take out the Alga here. That's my plan. Keeping my Yvelta alive. I'm trying to keep my Yvelta alive as, as much as we possibly can. <laughs> we're trying this. We are going for it. Uh, Okay. I could go for Dragon Darts. Phantom Force could come out here. Dragon Darts isn't too bad. So I'm going to go Dragon Darts into him, and I'm just going to Sucker Punch and take this thing out. I'm getting rid of him. It's a good battle. It's a good battle. It's a great battle. He withdraws Char- Oh, ho, 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 ho. We don't like that. We don't like that. Who's going to go into him? We're going to Zacian. That's rough. Can you not hit my Yveltal? That'd be wonderful if you if you don't touch my Yveltal. Sucker Punch flies through. Do not touch my Yveltal. We want him. Thunderbolt's coming through, and he's going to take out my Yveltal. Yveltal down and out. Down and out. The Yveltal's dead. We might actually be able to take out the Alga here, too. Dragon Dart's flying. Send it. Field. Take him out. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Cool. The Alga drops out. Wow, dude. This guy's making some good swaps. So he has Charizard, who's really low in HP. He's obviously going to bring back out Amoongus. Moongus is obviously coming back out here. Moongus is scaring me, man. Moongus is scaring me in the trick room. He's going to try to put one Pokemon to sleep. And if I had to predict it, it's going to be my Zacian, right? So do I protect Zacian? I don't know. Ah, I hate this game. I do not like this game, yeah. Do not like this game, yeah. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. What's the play here? Dragon Darts? No. Uh, Phantom Force, probably. I can get off. We get we can dodge some turns, but I gotta go there. If he puts me to sleep, he puts me to sleep. I'm going here. I can't protect. Spore comes out here. I knew he's gonna. I knew he's gonna do that. But I know he's going after my Dragon Pulse, right? So it's like if I protected him, no point. Behemoth play flies through here. Actually, I wanted to go after Zassian. Can you go after Zassian and we can wake up next turn? He goes after my Dragon Pulse. Yeah, we saw that coming all day. Can we eat that? We do not, dude. Rough set of battles for us today, man. Rough set of battles. We're going one and two. I know I promised you guys a victory, but it's just not happening. It's just not happening today. The game isn't budging. The game is not budging here. That's definitely a big L. That's definitely a big L. But hey, yo, we didn't get swept. We're going one and two. Our hot streak's starting to slowly descend. We were on a heater for a while, grabbing ourselves perfect records left and right. But now we're going one and two in back-to-back -back videos. But it's all good. Hope you guys did enjoy the content. You guys already know the deal. Leave a like on today's video if you did. But... It's all good. We're, we're, we're losing this battle. I'm going to run it regardless because, you know, we're asleep this next turn anyway. One and two for today's video. Not too bad. Definitely could have been better. We lost our second and third battle, but I wish we did get that win. I wish we did get that win for that winning record, but yo, it's all good. At least we were able to grab ourselves a win and we didn't get swept in any of the battles. But this team is actually kind of fun. Dragon Pole is definitely uh, not as good as he was in other series. There's just too many Pokemon that outspeed him now. Too many Pokemon that counter him. It's just not as good as it used to be, but I still really enjoyed using him. He's definitely fun in Dynamax, and once you get him rolling, he's still very, very strong. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.